your hot tub. Hey, Good, yeah. I'm glad you're home. I gotta tell hey, you something, this is real important. What, chick, what do you mean? Though, yeah, I know you met that girl. She's a great chick. Listen to me, what, what listen to me. Not... All right, she, why is she great? I don't know why, she's got all her limbs, okay? Listen, I gotta tell you this story. What do you mean you gotta go? I gotta tell you. Oh, Johnny, we're on. Hello? Mom? Yeah, listen. How'd you get my number? I'm in a phone booth in the middle of nowhere. What do you mean you want me to move back in? Mom, look, I gotta tell you what happened to me last night. Mom, listen to me. I'm not gonna move back in the house. I'm 32 years old. I need my privacy, you know what I mean? Ma, listen to me. What do you gotta get insulted, Ma? Ma? Hey, how you doing? My name's Ed Malloy. I'm known as the Brain Smasher. You'll know why in a few minutes. But you know what gets me? Nobody listens anymore. Nobody's got any sensitivity. But you'll listen. You're not going nowhere. And let me tell you, I got an unbelievable story, you hear? The moon's all right, and I was told that you'd be coming in. My life was lame, kind of low, I was looking to get done in. Now ain't it nice when there's no more pieces to fit in? Well, baby, I was you, and you were both the one who's out to win. Here's the setup. It started of all places in London, England. There was this chick. Absolutely fantastic. Sam, give me a second. Take an hour. Her name is Samantha, and she's one of those supermodels. You know the type with the big money, famous thing happening. A book? <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I can actually read and wear a bathing suit at the same time. Sometimes I even do math. Sorry. A beauty who reads. Now there is a combo that I can marry. Ah. As you can see, Samantha wasn't the happiest chick in the world when it came to her relationships. But hey, she hadn't met me yet. You hear? What do you think you did this time? Sam, wait. This is for you. I got a present I want. It's not from me, it's from your sister. What'd you do, schlep it all the way from Paris? Yeah, big mistake. I'll say. You should have brought your heart instead. Then you would have had to find it first, and... Who else do you know that's gonna give you a $10,000 Rolex, hmm? A Rolex is not love. I'll mail it to you. Keep it. You know you're gonna regret this someday, Sam. You're not gonna look good in a bathing suit forever. So Sam gets this package from her sister, and that's what really sets the whole thing off. Because the sister tells Sam to bring this package to Portland, Oregon, where she'll meet her. Now, this is Portland, Oregon. I live here. This is where the rest of the story happens. End the setup.
Over here, Miss Crane. Halloween was last month. These guys are Shaolin monks of the Red Lotus sect. Our paths crossed. Uh, Caesar! What the hell did he say to you? Hey, Talk about stress. What did he say? He would appreciate it if you wouldn't talk anymore. Why don't you just say so? Hey! What do you... What is it? Tell your baby sister to reveal the whereabouts of the Red Lotus to us, now. Wait a minute, you speak English. <gasps> you know, you guys are in a lot of trouble. This is a China, you can't... Sam, where's the package I asked you to bring? I forgot it. She's a model. Just another airhead. But if these freaks kill me, they'll never find their little package. Tell them that. That's your day, you leave. I'm sorry I got you into this, Sam. That's what you're always saying. Ah! Give us the Red Lotus! You made your point. It's... This way, come on. These guys are crazy. You wanna see crazy? <laughs> For this, Miss Crane. I will find you. Come on, Sam. You have no honor. The Chinese monks, ninjas, or Japanese. Details. Come on. Well, how was I supposed to know Arm Bruiser was going to follow me all the way to Portland? <sighs> Arm Bruiser, what are you doing with those guys? Let them get their hands on the Red Lotus when our friend Wu said ultimate power. He wasn't kidding. I think we lost him. No, you don't lose Red Lotus monks. They're coming. You just can't hear them. Sure as hell can hear you and those things. Lose them. 
So far in our shoes. Oh, details. Look, down this alley, I'll meet up with you at St. Luke's Church. Wait a minute, we're splitting up? Look, this is what they're after. They'll follow me. I don't want to cause you any more trouble. I'm not leaving you. Mom and Dad will oh, kill me. Oh, forget Mom and Dad. Look, St. Luke's Church, tomorrow, noon. Now get out of here. And lose those heels! Oh, God. Guys, come back tomorrow when you sober up. Now that's why they call him the Brain Smasher. <laughs> hey, Benny, call the cops. We got four more. on their way. Hey, here's your jacket. Thanks. <laughs> I thought you said four. You know me. I don't count too good. Give me a light. Yeah. yeah, sure. I'll tell you something, though. Some chick got by me. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Some girl got by the brain smasher? <laughs> oh, that could be in the paper. Not for long. Do me a favor. Watch the line, huh? Gotcha. Uh, Hold it right there a second. Just oh, back it up a little bit.
Crashed the gate. Didn't you see those ninjas chasing me? They're trying to kill me. Ninjas? Yes, ninjas. The, the creeps with the masks. Honey, we get all kinds in here. Never seen you around. Uh, you live alone. Listen to me. There are Chinese ninjas after me because they want the ultimate power. And there's a 24 hour detox center on Maine. Oh, do I look like I'm on drugs to you, you dumb muscle head? Well, this dumb muscle head's throwing you out. <laughs> so let me understand this. You automatically think a person's gonna lie to you. First chance they get. Don't give anyone the benefit of a doubt, huh? Not if they got on a skirt. Do you have a problem with women? Hey, who don't? Except other chicks. You know, an attitude like that can get you in trouble. I'll say it can. Come on. I don't need this tonight. Stories about ninjas. Oh, wait a minute. What's the matter? The noise. It stopped. Yeah, you stopped talking. Shut up. <laughs> Judd, what's going on? Freaks and maths killing everybody. Me, Giat. Giat, you get more. I can't believe it. <laughs> Let me out of here. Do you believe me now? These ninjas are killers. We are not ninjas. There's a trick to this. Guys, old boyfriends. Come on, come on. Come on. Jump. What? Jump.
some. Thanks, babe. What was that all about? It's complicated. I got time. Mind if I smoke? Yes. Well, too bad we're in the smoking section. So what is it? Those guys don't like rock and roll? Oh, Cammy says it's some sort of religious sect or something. Who's Cammy? My crazy sister. She took something from them. I guess she thinks they'll trade it for me. Why don't you just give them back what they want? Well, she must think it's awfully important to risk her life and mine, and I hate to admit it, but my sister always knows what she's doing. <laughs> really? She's a botanist. So you got the looks and she got the brains, huh? She's very beautiful. And she got the looks and brains. What'd you get? Look, muscle head, are you gonna help me or not? I'll take you to the cops if that's as far as I go. The cops aren't gonna do anything. There's no law against being a ninja. Those ninjas wiped out a club. I think there's a law against that. Well, there's another reason we can't go to the cops. Why? They might pick you out of the lineup? <laughs> she kind of talked me into smuggling something into the country, and it's not drugs. Well, what is it? It's a flower from China. Wu thinks it holds the key to ultimate power. Wu? What's a Wu? He's the guy you almost creamed with the fire extinguisher. Interesting. Can you just help me get to St. Luke's Church? Uh-uh. I'll pay you $300. Make it five. Done. What? I can't pay you now. I lost my purse when Wu was chasing me. Honey, these pockets only take green. God, all right. Look, this is an 18-karat gold custom-made Rolex. 24-karat hands, diamond-studded face. It's worth $10,000. In a video, it would pay $10,000 for a watch. Jonathan. Oh, rich boyfriend, huh? He was crazy in love with me. I had to end it. Yeah, but you kept the watch, didn't you? He lied to me, okay? I couldn't trust him anymore. Do we have a deal, or what? Ed Malloy. Samantha Crane. Most people call me Sam. Most people call me the Brain Smasher. There's nothing to this. It's okay. I'm all right. Come on, climb down. I'll catch you. Hey, honey, I ain't getting any younger. No, it's the way to my car. It's too far to walk to the church. I suggest we pick up a gun. I don't use guns. I never did. I don't believe in them. Know what I mean? I mean, some of the other guys pack them at the club, but I don't find no honor in it. Honor? They want to kill us. I'm telling you, I don't use guns. Oh, that's right. You just go around busting heads and removing cheeks and hey, hold smashing it. brains. Hold it! I stop idiots and morons from breaking heads. Hey, let me tell you something. You see this scar? This little scar right across my nose? I was 16, hanging out in a club, minding my own business. Big fight breaks out, right? I get a bottle across my face. You know why? Because there was no bouncer. So you see, I keep the peace. And I like what I do, and I'm proud of what I do. And that's that. I'll tell that story at your funeral. Just come on, I want to get to the car. Ed, lighten up. You gotta make a quick stop first. I got a debt to collect. Now? Relax, we lost them. This'll only take a minute. So what are you, bouncer at night, loan shark by day? Oh yeah? You're just into ninjas and flowers, right? <sighs> huh. What's the matter? 
out of you. Don't call your mother in three weeks. Come here. Who is it? It's Ed. Ed who? Ed, your son, you idiot. Ma, this is Samantha Crane. This is my mother. How do you do? Oh, hello, uh, Mrs. Uh, what kind of girl can't even remember your last name? All right, Ma, come on in, Sam. Come on. Hey, Pop. Still working? Still working. I'm coming here 10 years. That's all you ever asked me. Still working. Yeah, I'm still working. Hello. Why didn't you tell me we had a guest in the house? It slipped my mind. No, you. Come on, come on. Come sit down. Oh, oh, really? No, I, I'm fine. I mean, I'm, we got we're... five chairs. If she wants to sit, she can sit. And I'm offering the best seat in the house to this beautiful young lady. Hey, Pop, Pop take a cold shower, all right? Let her sit wherever she wants, all right? Pop. Pop. <laughs> I got to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Now sit down. How much? I mean, how much? Give me 20 just for gas. 20 for gas. <sighs> Stop looking. What are you looking at? I gave you 20. I can't look. Hey, Ma, where's my registration? Top of the fridge. You see that? Won't even drive his car without the registration. No tickets, no violations. Never broke a law in his life. A real straight-up guy. If anybody were to lead him on or break his heart, I'd kill her. Ma. So, tell us, how did a woman like you uh, get to hook up with my Ed? Oh, it's really hard to explain. Um, I'm all ears. More like all mouth. Well, if you really want to know, Ed saved my life from these red lotus warrior monks who are after me because they think that I can lead them to the flower that holds the key to world domination. Of course. Uh, I got to talk to you now. Uh, hey, look. So if you're I, I don't good approve books, of right? taking advantage of the mentally ill, but in this case, what? Mentally ill, Dad? What are you saying? I got the girl hey, sitting right here. You talking like that to me? And what are you gonna open I want to know about secret hey, flowers hey, hey, and hey, red monkeys. What are you yelling at me for? What are you gonna? What are you yelling at me? Bring the girl in the house. You gotta start out here. You don't know what's going on. What are you talking? Stop yelling at me. All you gotta do is yell. All right, all right, Joe. You gotta go, Samantha. All right, gotta go. All right, come on. I don't want to hear this anymore. Come on, stay in here. Nice all right, to look, meet we'll you. Be back, man. I gotta go, all right? All right. Nice family. What are you saying? That's that's real life in there. That was a conversation. <laughs> that's I, my parents. I didn't say, I'm not saying anything. Well, you know, you gotta have a little respect. Where are you going? Come out this way. Back legs. Look this way. Come on. No, no, no. Anybody he brings home. There's something wrong with her. Give her a chance. Let me in, Jim. I'm down. Now what? Maybe they forgot something. Is that you, Ed? We didn't know that Chinese takeout. We are searching for Miss Samantha Crane. Said she was being chased by killer ninjas. Ah, uh, yes. Miss Crane suffers these delusions simply because my colleagues and I from the Psychiatric Institute happen to be Asian and dress fashionably in a basic black. <laughs> Do we look like ninjas to you? Quick, show, show. What are you ignorant? Ninjas are Japanese. These guys are speaking Chinese. You are a very wise man. How? Ah. If your son is with Miss Crane, he is in great danger. What? Why? What's the Where are they now? They went to pick up his car. It's always parked in front of his apartment, 36 Charles Street. It's up above the Lotus Cocktail Lounge. Not so fast, Doc. What's your number so I can get in touch with my son? 
parents like you. And they don't like anybody, including me. They may have a point. We're not gonna make any more stops, are we? Yeah, I live over there. It's pretty cool, you know? You know, you think I mean, with the thing, the thing, that thing over there, with the statue, and that's cool. Like the neighborhood? You gotta see summertime, like we open up all the hydrants. It's a lot of fun. All right, come on, take a walk. Get out of here. It's amazing how they hang out on the corner with their dirty, filthy mouths, smoking cigarettes, leaning against my car. I mean, you know, seats get a little cold, but the chicks dig it. Look at this, baby. My pride and joy. Nice car. Honey, don't play with me. OK, it's a piece of crap. Are you happy now? I like honesty. Well, I honestly have to go to the restroom. Come on. After you. Hey, look at this. This is my trophy. I uh, won a boxing in 84. It's my heavy bag. It's probably not what you're used to, huh? Well, you, you don't have to get defensive. I, mean, I, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> but you were thinking it. It's all right. Toilet's in there. Maid's not working this week. In case those maniacs show up again, you gotta be prepared. You gonna teach me to fight? Well, that's great, okay. All right. All right. It's very simple. It's called the one, two. I invented it, okay? One. Bang! <gasps> Shot to the balls. <laughs> People have called me a ball buster, so. I'm sure they have. Two. Bang! Uppercut to the chin. Lights out. And right, now I want you to try it on me. Slowly. Very, very slowly. Okay? Okay. One. <laughs> All right, good. I'm okay. Not bad. Right here. Give me everything you got. Everything. Okay. Come on. <coughs> you see that? Pretty good. <laughs> A little practice, you'll be all right. If you would have connected, it would have been all over. I'm in 
that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, December. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I get to December, I'll check it out. I'm gonna get your code, right? Watch it better be worth ten thousand dollars. Jonathan wouldn't lie about that. Well, what would he lie about? He was married, okay. Thank you. I'll patch you up tomorrow, Miss Bellows. as usual, huh, fellas? telling you. I don't know anything else about those Chinese guys. How do you know they're Chinese? Why not Japanese? Why not Vietnamese? Why not Korean? Why not Martians? Let's get back to the woman, Ed. You said you'd never met her before tonight. That's right. Earlier, you stated that she crashed through the door at the Zebra Club and two of these so-called ninjas followed her in. Tried to follow her in. I stopped two of them. You guys were supposed to pick them up in front of the club. Benny called you guys. Benny Briscoe? He was one of the victims tonight. Broken neck. Yeah, I guess sometimes bouncing get pretty dangerous, huh? The officers at the scene said they didn't find any unconscious ninjas, Ed. Well, maybe they take that wounded with them. Look, I wasn't the only guy out there. There had to be 100 people out there. Why don't you talk to them? We did. They also reported ninja activity. Of course, they were high and drunk. <laughs> what are you wasting your energy on me? You should be out catching these guys. You're a pretty smart guy, Ed. <laughs> yeah, for a bouncer. Check the flights from China. Call the ambassador. Do something. It all turned stupid on us. 
We're not going to call the FBI or Interpol on the word of a Neanderthal bouncer and an airhead model. Get back on the planet. Hey, Sam's not an airhead, and I'm not a Neanderthal. I'm a co-magnum. What? We'll be back. Chinese ninjas, cut me a break. <laughs> you think he's wacko? Wait till you hear the model. Yeah, I recognize her from one of my lingerie catalogs. <laughs> They want the flower. Oh, right, the flower. You know, the one that's going to give them the ultimate power. <laughs> you expect us to believe this crap? Well, my sister believes it, and she's always right. Sounds like my wife. Hmm. The sister of yours. Isn't she the Indiana Jones of botany? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. My sister's research made the cover of the American botanist three times last year. We're very impressed. How can we get in touch with this famous sister of yours? I don't know. She told me to meet her at St. Luke's Church tomorrow, and then she disappeared. She was trying to protect me. Didn't do a very good job, did she? Looks like we're going to have to keep you in custody until tomorrow. Then we can hook up with this sister of yours and get some real answers. I want to call CAA and my lawyer. Get her the phone. It stopped ringing. Maybe your lawyer hung up. There's no dial tone. It's not working. Right. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Damn it, we put this new system in two months ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe it's the ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up, <on>, guys. <laughs> Let's try again. What a story, mask change. <laughs> yeah! Ed, it's a two-way mirror. She can't see you. Broad, Ed. Yeah. Yeah, she is. It's all right, Ed. We know how it can be. Now, what can be? Classy woman like that doesn't come around too often. Guy like you, bouncing work in the clubs, you get your pick of the zombie groupies, the underage alcoholics. Nobody cares out for a thrill, Ed. But nothing quite like Samantha Crane, huh? You guys are way out of bounds. Are we, Ed? Why would you risk your life for a total stranger? Ten thousand dollars. She gave me this. What idiot would pay ten grand for a watch? Truth is, I was just trying to save my own ass. She got in the way. I don't love her. I don't even know her. We didn't say you loved her, Ed. Stop protecting her, Ed, and cut this ninja crap and tell us what this is really about. What's it about? Drugs, Ed. Drugs in the Far East. What are you looking at? Me? I'm and looking at you hey, now. What is that down. sick what you mean? What are you talking about? Say every phone in the building is down. Don't you think that might mean oh, something? Oh, shut up and something? sit down and listen to us. We know you're clean, Ed. You got into this drug business because of Sam. She tricked you. You guys are unbelievable. Stop protecting her. This broad is selling you out. After everything that's gone down, you still don't believe me about these ninjas. We believe in drugs, Ed.
They're not drug dealers. They're killers, you hear? I hear you. And they take their flowers very seriously. The truth, Ed. Tell us the truth or we'll beat it out of you. The truth is, you guys are idiots. What is it, Ed? Heroin or opium, huh? What? Why don't you just cut the chop sake crap and cooperate? This is America, goddammit! Mass ninjas. We are not ninjas. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Wanna play? Let's play! You have been in a lot of trouble, Miss Green. I expect it from your sister, but not from someone with the brain of a corner. If it were not for my solemn vows of abstinence, I'd give you a really good time. See that? You wrote better. Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, hold it! Hold it! They're right behind you! Get away from the stairs! Move, you die. Oh, come on. Oh, no way. Come on, no give way. me a break. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, Are you kidding? Catch. I with my own eyes. I wouldn't believe it. Those guys wiped down the entire police station without even building up the sweat. Dad, I can't, I can't believe how you took it. I can't go up place. against that. Don't sell yourself short. You were great. I was lucky. Those guys catch bullets. But, Ed, you, you got us out of there in one piece. You were... Same you... enough, all right? Just, just have your sister give back what they want. You're quitting on me, aren't you? I'm scared. Well, that's good. Because I know a lot of guys that got messed up for life because they weren't scared. You got to know when to cut your losses. I do. So just walk 10 blocks up this way, make a left, and St. Luke's will be on your right. But we can beat them. You're talking from your heart, not your head. I can't believe you're just going to leave me. <sighs> Sorry, honey. I know when I'm overmatched.
Can I speak to Cammie Crane, please? She's not? Well, then, can I speak to the manager? Oh, hi. Uh, y you left a message for me about my sister? Your sister said she needs you to come to the hotel right away. Really? Oh, God, I don't have any way of getting there. You can? Oh, that would be terrific. Uh, yeah, I I'm across the street from the Guild Theater. D do you know where that is? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll send the car there. Uh, I'll wait inside. A about a half an hour. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I did everything you told me. Thank you. Oh, oh my nose. <laughs> oh, was that really necessary? Oh, I think it's broken. <laughs> Looking for work. Yeah, huh? You just got the job. Thanks, but I just quit. Get you something, honey? Uh, Perrier, please. Sorry, honey, this ain't France. Oh, uh, well, then, uh, I'll just have water to be fine. Are you sure you don't want something else? I gotta charge you a minimum. Water's fine, thanks. Relax, baby. It's just me, Romeo. You ain't the first woman to get excited by my touch. Oh, get lost, creep. I'm waiting for somebody. I bet you think I'm looking to lay the groundwork here, right? Wrong. It's my name. It's a curse, you hear? Chicks think I'm instant cereal. Relax, angel face. We got all night to fall in love, you hear? There's no me to running. One. <laughs> Two. Nice job, Kula. Who's your new friend? Ed, what happened to you? Fell down. Your face is a mess. You should be more careful. Yeah, well, uh, just came by to give you this, you know? I didn't finish the job, you know, and I figure if you get together with your boyfriend, uh, you might wonder what happened to his $10,000 watch. We're getting kind of close, aren't we, Ed? You think? So, do you have a girlfriend? You kidding me? The girls I like don't like me, and the ones that do like me, I don't. And what category do I fit into? Neither. I'm not your type. You know what I'd do? I'd buy you Timex and make you buy the batteries. What can I get you? Uh, just water. Got to charge your minimum. What you got to do? So, what's going on here? 
Oh, I'm um, waiting for a car to come take me to my sister. What happened to St. Luke's? Cammie left a message on my machine. She checked into a hotel, and the hotel's sending a car. Here? Yeah. Isn't that funny? All of a sudden, she changed the plans? I don't like it. I mean, if uh, something would have happened in this journey, there's no bounce around. You're a straight up guy, aren't you, Ed? What'd you say to me? <laughs> I said you were a straight up guy. <laughs> hey, don't tease me. I wouldn't. Good. Let's get out of here. Keep this. Hey, what'd you do to Jimmy? It's Jimmy. I knew his name wasn't Romeo. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. What's going on, guys? Give yourself up, Miss Crane. I have no desire to hurt you or your friend. Why don't you kiss my ass, Wu? I'd love to. Sam, don't antagonize these guys, huh? Listen to your friend's advice, Miss Crane. There's still a chance I will let you live after this. I admit, it's a small chance, but it could happen. Ha! Don't make me laugh. You're not going to let us go. Possession of the Red Lotus will make me the most powerful man on Earth. Once I have the flower, you can go to your police with my blessing. They will not be able to touch me. No one will be able to touch me. I thought you wanted your flower for your religion. I do not want to be a Kung Fu thug forever. I, too, have ambitions. Well, let me tell you something, half-wit. You're never going to get your flower. And how do you intend to stop me, Miss Crane? Fling your bikini at me. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Some innocent fool you seduced into helping you. This is the Brain Smasher. He hates Kung Fu. In fact, he thinks it's for wimps. Oh, what? what are you talking? I was just telling you, I love that stuff. Uh, Chuck Norris, I got all the movies, you know. The blonde guy. Let's kick some ninja butt. <coughs> We're dead. For the last time. We are not ninjas! <laughs> Miss Crane! Dai Tag Wale! Boys aren't allowed back here. Now beat it. Why don't you take a seat out front, fellas? We'll give you something to write home about. Uh, 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 peeking's not allowed. Take your seats out front. You'll see her titties soon enough. on me right now, but uh, this guy that I'm with, he has this watch. It's worth $10,000. I'll just go get him. <gasps> you expect me to believe some sucker spent $10,000 on a watch? Listen, princess, I don't work for free. You turn over the cash or I'll turn you over to the ninjas. Oh! Sorry. 
的探表，在哪儿？我们不受立位。Out of my goddamn way, honey! I got a show to do. Miss Crane, if you have any concern for your friend's life, do not take another step. I do not want to hurt you or this man. I simply want what is rightfully mine, what we have been hunting for two thousand two hundred and fifty years. Oh, Sam, run! Go to your sister. I'll take care of this. She's in love with you, isn't she? I think so. I'm very happy for you, Brain Smasher. Thanks. I like to see a man die with a smile on his face. We lost her. Tamada. Perhaps you may yet serve the cause of the Red Lotus. Hey, do me a favor. Put me away already, huh? Why don't I just reshuffle your face, then give the beautiful Miss Crane a chance to prove her love? Excuse me, Will. It was a hard, white, broke, coma, a night for devils or angels. You and me. And drunken dreams, wine spilled on the table. Gold highlighting your face. Watch the spirits tremble. Burning low on black velvet, sweat runs down your shoulder. You're the one.
Say it. Oh, Cammie. Well, you're alive. I'll, I'll cut it out. Of course I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be alive? Well, it's just that I saw Wu go after you and... Yeah, so? Don't you start with that model crap like I'm not capable of taking care of myself. Look, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here until noon. Ed. Ed's in trouble. Ed? The botanist has got my number, Ed. All she needs to do is give me a call. If she really loves you, she'll convince her sister to trade the Red Lotus for your life. Hello? Who's there? I want to talk to my son, Ed. It's your mother. Hello? Hello? What, Ma? What time are you coming home? I don't know what time I'll be home. Listen, Hang up on him. I won't trade the flower for Ed, period. Well, we can't just let Ed die. He saved my life. You love him. Maybe. You must. I haven't seen you smoke since you were in high school. It's too bad. Because in the larger scheme of things, it's more important that Wu never get the Lotus. I don't care about all that ultimate power crap. I just care about Ed. Oh, since when have you cared about anything other than your tan lines? Talk about selfish. You make me leave work, smuggle something into the country, you practically get me killed, and all without a thank you. But I expect that from you because you're my sister. Ed is an innocent bystander. Oh, I can't believe I finally care about someone and he's gonna die before I get a chance to sleep with him. <laughs> Perhaps I should change my name to Finger Breaker Wu. <laughs> what do you think? Too many syllables. <laughs> ah! Legend says that the man who takes the petals of the Red Lotus into his body becomes gifted with unimaginable powers. His, his mind becomes a physical weapon with no limits. Anything he can imagine, he can make happen. If he pictures you dead, you die. If he sees a, a burning plane, your flight bursts into flames. If he pictures the whole world worshiping him as a god, it will. You don't really believe that, do you? Well, I didn't. But then I found the lotus growing out of snow 20 feet deep, 500 miles from the nearest arable soil. Just exactly as the legend said it would be. So you tell me, Samantha, is Ed's life, anyone's life, worth more than keeping this out of Wu's hands? You know, Brain Snusher, you and I may have been wrong about Miss Green. It wouldn't be the first time a beautiful woman used a man then deserted him at his greatest hour of need. What's your problem, Wu, huh? What is it, your name, Wu? That's what I whistled to a girl down the street. Hey, Wu. What kind of torture is this, anyway? It's my mother. Tell her I'm on the way. Hello. Why, Miss Crane? What a pleasant surprise. Cheap theatrics, Miss Crane. They're not cheap, Wu. The Crane sisters, we are doomed. <laughs> How you doing, Ed? I'll tell you, Sam, uh, I don't remember the last time I had so much fun. <laughs> like we agreed over the phone, a straight trade. Ed, for the Red Lotus. 
I still find it very difficult to believe that you would trade ultimate power for an Ed. I hear Ed's got his strong points. You see that, Wu? I told you the chick digs me. I got charm, class, charisma. You know, I got a mirror above my bed, so I'm the first one I see when I get up in the morning, eh? Oh, <laughs> But, uh, unfortunately, Wu's right. I'm not worth it. You know it. I know it. But my sister doesn't. The Red Lotus, now! Gently. And no tricks. No tricks. Just thought you'd want to inspect the prize. Happy now, Wu. You got your flower. What a bunch of crap. Ultimate power. Very happy. Oh. Ed! Sam. Oh. Brain smasher. Not gonna lie. Step back, Miss Gray. You're gonna have his babies, right? We just met. I thought you said you loved him. Oh, I am not gonna talk about it right here, right now. Well, I'm not giving up the ultimate power unless you say you do. Just say it. You love Ed. Say it or Ed dies. Uh. Okay, uh, I love Ed. I love Ed and I wanna be Mrs. Ed. Uh, uh... Malloy! Malloy, right! I have you outnumbered four to one. Now set the flower. Uh. I'd say we're just about equal. Oh, you used a gun! That's right. This isn't a kung fu movie. Now you release it or I'll blow your ninja butts to hell. Ugh. We are not ninjas! If I say you're ninjas, then you're ninjas! Hey, Wu! Catch! No! Ninja, you're a goddamn ninja.
What made you think you could ever do this, Ed? You are a loser. Hey, ninja! After this kick, Miss Crane, you will need to earn your living as a hand model. Hey, whoa. End the story, baby. Brain Smasher. Woof. You're going to be part of the family? Stop him! I will destroy all of you! How are you feeling, Wu? Where is the power? I'm a scientist, Wu. I don't believe in myths and magic. 2,250 years. Chuan Wan Hey, honey. I get my face bashed in for a bunch of bull. Says who? Says Madam Butterfly over here. That's who says. I slipped Wu a poisonous stand-in from the garden at St. Luke's. You gambled all our lives on a fake flower? It was a calculated risk. Very clever. I'll tell you what, why don't we split a petal? Nobody's eating this, not even the rats at the labs. I'm gonna win a decade's worth of fully funded research for selling this to a museum. I'm off to Burma. Oh, what do I tell Mom and Dad about Christmas? Tell them it's on the 25th of December. You and Ed did good back there. Yeah, for a model and a bouncer. <laughs> it's tough being a cliche. Jai Jen. Yeah, I'm all right. I won't be doing any bouncing for a while, but... I'm sorry about your hand. Right. You got nice hands, you know that? They're just hands. Uh, you know, I dated chicks with, like, fat hands, chunky <laughs> fingers. And I once dated a chick with web fingers, you know? But no, I mean, you really got nice hands. You got nice everything. Especially your eyes. You know why? Look into your eyes, I see someone I could really care for. Yeah, what was I thinking, right? You need me, famous model. Could have any guy. You got guys giving you $10,000 watches like they're nothing. <laughs> yeah, me, Ed Malloy, bouncer, brain smasher, right? I mean. You are as stupid as you look. Is that what you think, that I want watches? Nobody ever said the things you say to me. I really like you. Like me? You said before you loved me. <laughs> I'd say anything to save the world. Oh, yeah? Say it again, sir. I love you. I love you. You are the one. You are the one Anything you want to do you Drive me crazy Under that perfect touch 
their lives are not tangled. Prisoner, laid low by love, satisfied my hunger. Get back to my beloved, get down on my bended knees. 